Stephen Guest, who is a filmmaker. It says it right there. Um, so my presentation will be nowhere nearly as good as all the ones you've seen prior to this moment. But the reason I made this film was because of all the people in this room and all the people who presented tonight because of the amazing people who exist here in New Haven. So I tried to tell a story about some people here in New Haven. And I'm going to keep trying to do it. Um, so here we were on, uh, I guess it was maybe day two of filming. And the reason I'm showing the slate isn't for the clever look that Nick is giving you. Although I will say, um, when it comes to the film and theater, they say cast from the bottom up. So make sure that your ensemble characters are ready to play Hamlet at any time. And I believe in that. He um, was incredible and he was able to do a lot of work for us. And he did went beyond and beyond uh, anything a PA would do. So the flower was the beginning of the film. That's a Silas Finch piece. And we'll get to talk more about how my connection with Silas came. This was an article I read in a newspaper about five years ago, not thinking that I was going to make my brother Jack in New Haven or you Silas Finch. The plot thickens. This is Karen Lee Green. Instead of hiring a wardrobe designer to more traditionally in a film world, I decided to actually commission a designer and showcase her clothing in the film. So a lot of the pieces used in the film were her creation. So um, thank you, Karen. This is uh, a shot, what we call a setup shot. We're just doing some test shots. This is actually in my father-in-law's house. And it was a really important day for me because uh, obviously it was, a, it was a big crew and there was a lot of people involved in it, uh, working for free and working hard. And woo, that's an interruption. Uh, but my grandfather was really proud of the work and I appreciated that and that's why I showed that photo. This is Delaney, she did special effects makeup. And what's great about this moment is she's doing blood tests, um, corn syrup, uh, ch chocolate mix, and in order to get the blood to explode, condoms. So she used to love to go to the grocery store and order all those things. So I just thought I'd give her a shout out and thank her for all that. This is actually in Silas's studio, which is where we did a lot of the filming. Uh, the fictional character Jack is a found object artist and Silas's work came to the fold. And Silas was instrumental being on set. He really helped us in. Hold the traffic. This is Beardy. He's a Mormon from Utah who found his way into New Haven. He paid for his own way here and basically became the mayor. In fact, could have left, maybe. Um, really took over the city and it was a delight to have him here. And I miss him dearly. He won't be here tomorrow night, but it was great to have him and he was uh, invaluable on the set. Here we are at Keller Lydell uh, Gallery, which is where we shot. Uh, a scene for the uh, art exhibit that takes place in the film. And the tall gentleman in the middle of that photo is Malcolm Madeira, uh, who plays Jack. And that was actually his first night on the set. And we kind of threw him into, uh, into the fire because we had about over 60 extras on that day. I don't think this photo needs explanation, but they told me to talk for 20 seconds. So um, <laughs> This is the Grand Central, uh, the Grand Avenue Bridge. And this is actually, that's actually Silas. He's, he's making sure my DP, Karam Duran, doesn't fall into the water. So thank you for that. And there's some great footage. This is the actor John Thorndike. Um, this look to me, why is this photo in here other than he, I mean, he's an incredible actor. This to me is every guy I've run into in New Haven. They're beautiful and intense and they're questioning everything. And that's what makes this city great cinematically to talk about. Um, this is Malcolm doing some work at uh, Silas's workshop, and you know, let's face it, actors who play police officers or doctors don't know how to hold a gun, and they don't know how to perform open heart surgery, nor do they know how to do found object art. But if they're taught well, um, it helps. Uh, earlier, somebody said, "Don't look, don't let the photo distract you." This is to go against that. Let this photo distract you. This is <laughs> this is Liv Chelsea. She plays Alex in the film, and let's just enjoy that photo. <laughs> Thank you. This is Johnny Rogers. If you guys aren't familiar with Johnny Rogers from the famous movie. Thank you. Johnny did the original score for the film. He's worked on films for me before. And, you know, I mean, have glass, will travel. It's ridiculous, the work that he does. And this is a beautiful photo. And uh, Johnny won't be able to make it. He's uh, on the West Coast right now, but he sends his love. 
Um, a couple years ago, we were really fortunate that Kelly Lydell gave the two artists that were commissioned for the film, not only Silas, but there's a, a dear old friend of mine named Larry Morelli. He's a painter. Thank you. Very good. And um, Larry really was the foundation for my writing during the time of this. It was his paintings that inspired the story. So they gave him a, a month-long exhibit back in August 2011, and I'm forever grateful to them for that. This is uh, myself with actor John Thorndike, and at the end of the day, you know, films are really chaotic. There's a lot going on. You know, there's no time to even eat and all that, blah, 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 because you have no money and you're doing 18-hour days. So to get a moment like that and actually talk about the scene or the moment or the inspiration, I'll treasure forever. Uh, this is one of my producers who has a cameo in the film, blah, 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 that's Byron, we love Byron. But what I love is that's the Daily Cafe, so who here remembers the Daily Cafe? Thank you. So, um, Jeff, Steve Rogers from The Space had that t-shirt and he let me use it in the film, so thank you for that. So, all that hard work, what's it about? Well, it's an opportunity to give all these people involved in the film an opportunity to showcase their work. So we did so in December, we had our uh, world premiere at the Bahamas International Film Festival, so there's a little brag. This photo is my hotel view. Now, the reason I show you this is because this is a difficult photo to come home from work and show your wife and kids that you were at work when this is what you had as a view. So um, as much as I love being in the Bahamas, it was um, difficult to tell going back home in the freezing cold that I was working hard, so, but I was. And then this is what it's all about, right? This is an opportunity to, and you can see the smiles on her face. This is Anthony uh, Larico, is a film studios producer. It's Misa Hampton's an actress, an idiot in the middle. It's Matt Velakis, producer, writer, actor, extraordinaire. Kareem Duran, DP, editor, extraordinaire. To have an opportunity to hug and be there with everyone is, is brilliant. So tomorrow night at the Criterion Theater, there are two, unfortunately, sold out shows, although they are holding a few walk-up tickets. But if you're interested, let me know. Go to Facebook my brother Jack, and I'm thinking of adding a third screening because I was overwhelmed with the generosity of the community. I wasn't expecting the tickets to sell like this. So thank you so much, um, and hope to see you. Thanks.